Welcome to Bending Jeeps Across America, where we take our average Jeeps on, well, today, not extraordinary trails, just kind of average. It's Forest Road 348. We're camp hosting in Cottonwood Lake Campground uh, outside of Buena Vista, Colorado. And uh, there's just a whole bunch of neat trails down in this valley. They're all pretty easy, so if you've got a brand new Jeep or you're new to off-roading, these seem like really good trails to uh, kind of cut your teeth on and you know, get a little experience um, and then also get the family out and get them enjoying the uh, beautiful Colorado countryside. Uh, we kept trying this trail uh, and we're still trying this trail. I still haven't been to the end of it. It's only a few miles, take you a couple hours. Taking a little break from our camp post duties again, we're going to go try Forest Road 348. Uh, comes off of 344 and heads up into the mountains. Uh, last time I crossed the creek and ran right into snow, so we're going to see if it's thawed out this time. Uh, and then next week we'll try it again. So the creek crossing I think is a little bit high now with the snow melt and the rain. Uh, wife's TJ is on 33 inch tires and it came up to the floorboard of the Jeep. Uh, not that big a deal, but a pretty smooth crossing, no reason to panic there. And then uh, off we go up the mountain and it's just long, pretty gentle roads up the mountain. If you air down to, I don't know, we're air down to about 10 pounds just to smooth out the bumps. Um, Y'all have a great time. Get up there, enjoy this trail. Now, supposedly it ends at the 101st Airborne Cabin, and I tried to do some research to figure out what that was about, and I still don't know. Uh, so hopefully when we get there, maybe there's some information there. You can see, though, even our second attempt, we started running into some pretty thick snow drifts. So, third attempt, we got a lot further on the third attempt, but, well, you'll see. If you've seen our other stuff, you know we're generally trying harder trails than this. This was just a nice break. It's right down the road from our campground. It's a great way to just relax for a little bit. I maybe forgot how relaxing it could be just to enjoy the scenery instead of looking for the next obstacle. You know what I mean. So how do you know when you've reached the end of the trail, when it's gone all the way up into the snow, you find this ahead of you. And you say, man, that guy passed me like 20 minutes ago. So we're going to hike around and see where he went. Maybe he went ahead to see what the trail was like. We'll see. Oh, no, we're not going up that. Let me turn the camera around. So that's the end of the trail. I'm just going to speed up this next bit. It's just us turning around the trail. Actually, just my wife. Uh, nosing up the hill, back and down, making kind of a three-point turn. Uh, making sure we don't damage anything, of course. So, got close to that little tree. But we're good. We're turning around safely, and we're not going to roll down the hill. So it's just an easy trail with an easy downhill and back out through the creek. And we'll wait a little bit before we try it again and uh, see if we can't make it a lot further. The next attempt, we actually grabbed some guys from the campground who were on vacation and uh, asked them if they wanted to go trail riding with us. So 
Uh, we took them up the mountain, and we went a lot further than ever before, saw some cool old cabins. Still did not make it to the end, though. Still ran into snowdrifts over the trail and decided, you know what? We are a long way from camp. Let's just go ahead and turn this around before Travis accidentally slides a Jeep down the mountain, which got kind of close for a second. I wound up mentioning it up to a tree to make sure. Anyways, be safe. Oh, yeah, there's my tire track near the edge. You know, you got to be safe when you're this far out there. And that's why we have two Jeeps, to so make sure uh, we're never out by ourselves getting stuck. And Michelle drove through the creek too quickly for me to video it, so I made her back through it and drive through it again. Which also is nice to uh, rinse all the dust and dirt off your wheels. So, we'll be trying this trail again soon. Don't doubt it. We're going to make it to that cabin and see even what's beyond. So once again, if you get to come to uh, Buena Vista is what it's written as, Buena Vista is what it's pronounced as, uh, if you get a chance to come to Central Colorado, Cottonwood Lake uh, Campground is a beautiful spot to stop. The Forest Roads 344, 348, 349, all great easy trails to ride. There's great fishing around, so come on out to the area and enjoy yourself.